Dr. Jerry here with Mills Chiropractic and Wellness Center. And this week I wanted to talk a little bit about the knee um, before we start to move into our next subject matter, which I'm excited about, which is talking about medications and maybe some of the, uh, the nuances of when and where and what to take, because that's a question I get quite a bit in the office, right? And so what, before we get into that, though, I wanted to stop and take a take a second and just talk about knee problems, because it is one of the big issues that we see within the clinic here. Um, is knee issues you know the knee takes a lot of abuse right like each step we take we we are putting pressure on the knee now the knee um, is designed to be able to withstand that pressure and that um, that wear and tear on it the cartilage is designed to last our entire lifetime but for a variety of reasons whether it be trauma or different things um, that cartilage can start to wear down um, one of the big reasons that that cartilage wears down though and one of the big things that we want to do because once the cartilage starts to wear down it's really hard to rebuild it now we can we can reduce the pain we can reduce the swelling we can improve um, the joint function but unfortunately we're not to the point really um, that we can restore joint cartilage all that well now there's some promising areas in um, you know stem cells and different things um, but we're really just not quite there yet um, and so we really want to protect that cartilage and one of the things um, that is so important when we talk about the knee is weight um, every time we take a step each pound that we carry extra we're putting an extra four to seven pounds of pressure each step so you know if you're carrying around an extra 10 pounds that's like putting 70 extra pounds of pressure on your knee every single step. And if you're taking 10,000 steps a day, you know, that math really starts adding up. And we're only talking about 10 extra pounds, right? Um, we, some of us are still carrying around that COVID extra 19, right? Um, and so every, that's the biggest thing I would, I would tell somebody um, to try to prevent knee problems is to watch their weight. Now, one of the things that I always find fascinating with the body is that we, we kind of alternate joints. So one joint is stable, the next joint is mobile, the next joint is stable, the next joint is mobile. And we kind of have this alternating pattern throughout our body. And so last week we talked a lot about the hip and, and the hip is designed to be very mobile while the knee is designed to be very stable. The knee is really designed to allow movement in what we call flexion extension. It just swings uh, forward and backwards, right? And there is a little bit of rotation, a little bit of shift, but not very much. Um, and that's one of the th that's one of the keys to preventing uh, arthritis or joint degeneration with the knee is for the knee to be very stable and really only allow that movement. Now, one of the challenges that we see with a lot of people is that the hip they start to lose mobility in the hip. And so the body is very smart and it's very adaptive. And so if we're losing mobility in a joint that's supposed to be mobile, the body will try to find that mobility in joints that are supposed to be stable. And in this case, we're talking about the knee. The knee starts becoming more mobile and it starts twisting and torquing and doing weird things, which basically starts grinding that cartilage down, right? And so what we want to look at from a chiropractic standpoint and from a patient standpoint to try to prevent these knee problems is look at the hip. Is the hip moving well? Um, as we look at the ankle, is the ankle moving well? Again, we kind of alternate. So if we start at the foot, the joints within the foot are designed to be very stable. There's, there's not a lot of mobility um, that we're supposed to have in the foot. When we move to the ankle, we have a lot more mobility. When we move to the knee, we have more stability. When we move to the hip, more mobility. Move to the SI joint, more stability. We talked about that a couple weeks ago. And then we move into the lumbar spine, which is again more mobile. And all of those areas, if they're not working well, so if the lumbar spine, um, for instance, becomes restricted and we're not getting the movement there, then we start to get it at the SI joint. When the SI joint starts moving, the hip becomes more stable. As the hip becomes more stable, the knee becomes more unstable. And it's just this whole, what we call a kinesthetic chain. It just kind of falls apart. Um, all the way down and all the way up through the body. And so what we want to look for is making sure we're maintaining that mobility. That's why it's important to stretch before we exercise. Stretch those hamstrings, stretch the quads um, so that those muscles aren't restricted, so that they can have full mobility, so that the knee can again provide the stability that it needs. The other thing um, that we want to look at besides weight and stretching and things to try to prevent these knee problems is looking at the foot. 
you know, the foot, like I said, is supposed to be very stable. Unfortunately, a lot of people, um, they have fallen arches or the arches start to collapse, right? And that creates this extra mobility within the foot. And then they end up getting stiff ankles because of that or plantar fasciitis or different things. But then they start to get stability at the ankle to where the ankle doesn't have as much mobility, which it's supposed to have. And so then the knee becomes very um, unmobile because the joint before it is stiffened up. Um, and so, like I said, basically we, we not only want to look above, but we also want to look below. And that's why it's so important to have good shoes and have good arch supports. If you haven't had your feet scanned, by the way, um, remind us to do that. Um, we can do that in the office very easily. Take a look at those arches, see if you need some arch supports to kind of help you out. Um, to try to get some stability back into that knee, right? And so I hope today we, we went through kind of a, uh, some different directions. We didn't exactly get into the knee. We talked a lot about the joints around it and things, but that really is the, the key a lot of times to, to the knee. Um, and so I hope you got something from this week's episode. Um, tune in next week as we start to jump into some of the medications that are being used now, um, and we start to dissect that a little bit. Um, but until next time, stay healthy, stay well. Mm-hmm.